Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, Black Scholes Greeks and we're going to set up in Python. Right? So we're going to set out, we have some Python code um, here, and the code I would have uh, taken from uh, Davis Edwards' GitHub, and he has a textbook that's quite interesting, um, but he also has a companion to the textbook, he set out some code for estimating Black Scholes, Black 76, implied volatility. And we can take a look here at the, um, at the model. Um, and there's quite a bit of code there. And it's interesting and a lot of explanation. So, um, and formally. But we're primarily interested here in just that segment of code relating to uh, Black Scholes Greeks. Okay, so what I've done is I've stripped away uh, most of the code and effectively uh, what emerges is what I have here. So if we copy this uh, segment of code, uh, we can replicate the results that we had before when we were estimating Greeks with these parameter uh, values that you can see here. Okay, so um, to make that work, we've got to go into uh, Anaconda. In my case, I'm going to use Anaconda and then open a Jupyter uh, workbook. So I'll pause here and set that up. Okay, so I've gone into Anaconda Navigator. Uh, I've opened up that application and now I'm going to launch Jupyter notebook and um, we'll just get a new instance of the Jupyter notebook. So we're going to say new. I won't give it a name for a moment. Uh, that can be done later. You can save it into your uh, own directory and I'm going to paste in the, uh, the entire segment of code. Now normally we'd break it down into separate lines and you would toggle through. Here I'm going to do it in one foul swoop. Also just to note uh, there is a generalized Black Scholes model proposed by uh, Espen Hoag. And Espen points out that if you use this notation where we have B as the cost of carry, where B is equal to R negative Q, R being the risk we rate and Q being the dividend yield, you can pull out uh, by reordering the parameters, the Black Scholes model, the Merton model, which here has a continuous dividend yield, the Black 1976 model, uh, the Garmin Cole Hagen model for currency, options and currency. Uh, and it's uh, with the same segment of code, we can uh, produce output for Black, for uh, Black shows with dividends and so on. Uh, we just have to slightly reconfigure it. Uh, but for the moment, we just want to run and get our output and compare our results to results we had yesterday. So very simply, just hit Shift. That's the entire segment of code. If we press Shift and Enter, then the output that we obtain is the value of the option. Okay, so we can see here the order, the, the value of the option. In this case, we've, it's a call. Delta gamma theta vague and rho. Okay, so that's the order of the variables. It is for a call option. We've cut it, cut it on this for a put option either. Okay, so uh, run that again, shift enter. These are the values for the put option. If we copy and paste this into the spreadsheet we had yesterday, uh, I might pause here for a moment to get that spread. So yesterday we had, uh, uh, using the code in the, the VBA code and C++ code, we had produced this output. We've just copied, so I can delete this. We've just copied output from the Python uh, compiler, and we did it for the put option, if you recall, using the same parameter values that we have uh, here. And you notice that the 5.57 is the same, the negative 36, 0 0.36, same. 0 0.0187 for gamma is the same. 
the negative 1.65 <coughs> for Theta is the same. The 37.52 for Vega is the same. And the negative 41.89 for Rho is the same. So it's fairly clear this uh, is working. We can go back one more time uh, just to check the results for the uh, call option. And again, if we change the P here to C, and we shift, hold the shift button down, enter. We get the output for the call option and the relevant Greeks. So let's just copy that. Go back into our spreadsheet for a moment, just to verify the results from Python. Uh, we can paste, and we can see here 1045 for the call, 063 for delta, gamma is the same. Vega is the same. Uh, the value for theta, negative 641, negative 641, and row 5323, 5323, same. So th this code is working. Uh, doesn't seem to be any issues. Um, and uh, Python is quite handy, so it's worth putting in.